Zachary Cox is his father, an army enlistee, and an older sister named Mia, she's one, and a family kitty named Florence. We can take a look here and see all of the people in our family. I didn't want to start um, recording before I had this because I don't want to add to pop up or anything like that, so let's just keep aging up. We have a new air. No. So, pretending to do things is a lot of fun, but you're not sure which activity is the most fun. So, where BJ Cox? What is BJ Cox like doing? I think he likes driving a car. A little girl named Kim wants to become your friend. Sure, we'll become friends with her. You are now friends with Kim Clark. Uh, you and your big sister Mia are squabbling on whose turn it is to play bit life on the family iPad. Starting primary school at Little McDonald Primary School. It's an all boys school. Is that how it is in Canada? Is it all boys school? Let's study harder. I always do this so we can get into college. Oh no! Florence died at the age of 10. That's so sad. Let's see if our mom will buy us another cat. Let's see. There's another Florence. We can't do that. Let's do. Some of these are really old. How about Jackson? Oh, your parents refused to get you the cat named Jackson. Well, thanks. While playing at the park, you accidentally wet your pants. Own it. <laughs> your classmate Joshua wants to become your friend. Um, he's a little crazy, but sure. Let's see if there's anything we could study harder again. Um, last time we did this with Kim Clark, we had a bad time, so no thanks. Your friend Joshua wants to become best friends with you. Sure. Your classmate Mark wants you to skip class with him and go to celebrate a reindeer with an untreated nose condition. Uh, sure. <laughs> Really, really weird. Can we join a school clique? So if you look at our picture, we look like we would be like a skater. Let's let's start hanging out with them. Oh. You started trying to hang out with the skaters at your middle school. They laughed in your face. Okay. Your friend Kim has made you her enemy. Why? Why, Kim? Let's uh, insult her. She stormed you. She stretched your brain. <laughs> your best friend Joshua tells you that he has a friend who needs to learn a little lesson and is asking you to prank call him pretending to be the police. Sounds like fun. This guy's gonna be like our bad boy, I think. Okay, we're in a family preparatory school, all boys. Yeah, let's see what school. Um, maybe wrestling could be good. Oh, you have to watch an ad. Okay, we can't do that. Um, let's do... Is there any other... Uh, what the heck? Okay, let's see if we can try to get into a click. Oh, okay, we're a member of the gamers click. That makes sense. Okay, let's take our driving test passed our driving test. How's our sister doing? Let's pay her a little compliment. Oh, she didn't like it very much. Okay, let's apply to university in... Graphic design would be actually kind of cool. That's my parents. Oh, they paid. Cool. Our parents paid for us to do university. Let's see if we can be able to join the gamers. Yep, we're in the gamers in college also. Your classmate Haley White 
that's my name and she's in a sorority let's start going out with her she looks like our type can we rush let's see if we can get into a fraternity i've never been able to get into one in this oh what is the name in the greek mythological uh hades yeah we found a family so we're in ae pi uh fraternity let's spend some time with our girlfriend we got pedicures even though you're a virgin your girlfriend Haley wants to take your relationship to the next level uh let's do it <laughs> of course she's pregnant oh we're keeping the baby your classmate dick cox <laughs> Dick Cogs. Wow, yes, we're being friends with him. Okay, let's randomize the name. She had a baby girl, Jenna. Jenna Cox, but she has to be. Yeah, she gotta take our last name. Jenna Cox, look for a job. Um, so we are like a graphic designer, so maybe an animator. While being interviewed for the junior animator position, you were asked the following question. Where do you see uh, yourself in five years? One day at a time, my friend. Okay, so we, at least we got a job. I think we need to... Uh, we don't have money yet, to. Okay, we went to the drive-in movie theater together. Your friend Dick wants to celebrate International Tea Day by visiting a tea house and enjoying a cup or two while engaging in gossip. He asks you to choose the tea that will best suit the occasion. Uh, Moroccan mint. That sounds good. Your father passed away. That's so sad. Your daughter is suffering from whooping cough and she's pregnant again. Let's vaccinate her. Uh, what the heck? Take her to the doctor. Dr. King, treat the whooping cough. Cool. Okay, I think I can propose now, maybe? None. We can't get a ring? Let's propose at the marijuana farm. <laughs> oh, no. So we have to buy a ring somehow. How do I buy a ring on this thing? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh. Go shopping. Okay, here we go. Let's get a diamond ring. Let's get the best one, of course. $12,000. We'll propose next year. Let's randomize our baby boy's name. BJ, no. That's our name. Nathan, sure. Nathan Cox. Let's circumcise him. You've been promoted to animator. Cool. It's awesome. Now we can propose to our good little girlfriend. After. Now she might accept our proposal. Let's do a Ferris wheel. She accepted. That's because of my awesome ring. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Let's plan our wedding. Let's do a vineyard, and then let's go to the French Riviera. $26,000? Yes. We're kind of broken. We're spending a lot on this, but uh, we don't need a prenup. I'm keeping Mr. Cox. Okay. Now we need to make another baby. Prom been promoted to senior animator. Your best friend Josh has unfriended you. Try to salvage. No. She's pregnant again. Okay, so why don't we just go mess with this lady? Let's play a prank on her. <laughs> she beat us up again. Random name, Joel Cox. Your wife Haley suggests the two of you buy a Nissan Rogue. Sure. We got a four-year-old burgundy Nissan Rogue. Okay, let's go back to her and let's, uh... Let's... I can't do anything really, like... I can't go beat her up after she beat me up. Well, let's insult her. She called me a mistake. 
Okay. Haley's suffering from hemorrhoids. Wants to stop taking her birth control. She was on birth control since when? Yes, yeah, stop taking it. <laughs> Let him go. My friends are all leaving me, but here's the one. She attacked you with a bazooka but missed? Holy cow. And we got Joel now has whooping cough. Take him to the doctor. Yep, treat the whooping cough. It seems to run in the family. We have another baby. Keep the baby. What can we do? Let's see. Let's commit a crime. Let's murder. Let's murder our enemy with impale them. <gasps> I impaled my enemy Kim on a stake and she died. <gasps> so, random Nicholas Cox. My question is, I didn't get caught for that to go to jail. <laughs> wow. Okay, somebody has tonsillitis. Nathan, is it you? Treat the tonsillitis. Your mother, okay, we should plan her funeral. Let's bury her. Oh my God, you and your big sister each inherited $1.8 million. Wow. So they were rich, rich? Um, yes, we will definitely pay her tuition. I think we should also buy a house. Um, let's see. Mm, let's get the Cape Cod home. 492 Park Court. Buy it without asking her, because it's my money. Um, I'm going to buy it with cash. Yeah, she's mad at me. Um, arguing with you, she asked if you were trying to compensate for something with the house. Argue back. While at work, a coworker has generated a villain character that has a striking resemblance to you. Embrace it. We have another baby on the way. She is very fertile. We have four kids already, fifth on the way. Oh, she suffered a first trimester miscarriage. Your son Nathan is asking you, yes, pay his tuition. Your son Nicholas is asking you for a $11 to buy a football, yes. Your head is pounding so hard, it feels like it'll explode. To make matters worse, the muscles throughout your body have been really tender. Go to the doctor, let's see what they say. Fibromyalgia. Yeah, that's not uh, treatable continue to suffer. My coworker Vincent, I love him. He has pink hair and he works with us. We can hang out with Vincent. Compliment your wife, you know. Pay his tuition. They don't even care. A young child asks you if Santa Claus is real. Lie and say he's real. This is the, this part of the story where the car keeps breaking. Your daughter, Jenna, has just come out of the closet as gay. Support her unconditionally. And while giving a standing ovation at a concert with your friends, your friend Vincent's wife, Abigail, turns to you and says that all the clapping is making her want to clap cheeks. <gasps> so my friend's wife is trying to hook up with me? Yes. Use a condom. No, poor Haley Cox. Your wife Haley is arguing with you because you cheated on her. I apologize to her. She says she hates the player in the game. She wants a divorce. Beg her to stay. Nope, she wanted. Okay, well, I'll still... And Vincent is my enemy too now. Um, I still have tons of money, woman. But now you guys know what we have to do, right? We have to kill Vincent. <laughs> this has got very dark very quickly, I know. Murder. Where is he? Vincent. Uh, a drive-by. <laughs> he died. Oh my god, how is the cops not even noticed me killing people? 
An anime porn? Of course I'll make you an anime porn. Home employee offers you some bourbon? Yeah, of course. A woman named Alice Gagna has offered to become your financial advisor. Sure. Oh. Okay, never mind. Turn her down. You have to pay for that. Oh my god. A captain from the Sokolov crime family has approached you and indicated you to join his syndicate. Yeah, that's also something you have to pay for. Uh, nope. While in your cart, you come across a grocery cart filled with what appears to be marijuana. Sell it. Oh, I earned 260000 from selling the marijuana. You walk into a grocery store and you momentarily forget where you're going. Uh-oh, let's go to the doctor. Dementia? I continue to suffer from dementia. You are determined to win the ugly sweater contest at work this year. Which ugly sweater will you choose? My boss's face on a Grinch. That's great. That's just great. You have been sacked from your position as senior animator? <gasps> the office was robbed after you failed to lock the door when you left. No. So we're fired. Uh, a free drink is a free drink. I'm addicted to alcohol now. This poor man. Okay, turn that into the authorities. Let's be good for once. As if they catch us. Well, at the gym, you meet a lady named Amy. Let's ask her on a date. Some friends are inviting you to join them on a horse-drawn carriage ride through the park. You want to go, but the potential of witnessing a horse pooping right in front of you is nauseating. Um, wear welding goggles, you know. You encounter a male escort winking at you. Attack him. Let's roundhouse kick his ear. <gasps> wow. I'm depressed now, and I just died. So, my name was BJ Cox. My net worth was three million. Saskatoon, Canada. I was an animator. I had four children, five grandchildren, three lovers, and two murderers. BJ Cox died peacefully at the age of 73. His funeral was attended by his four loving children, his big sister Mia, and his five grandchildren. His girlfriend Amy couldn't be bothered to attend the services. A strapping and smart man, he studied graphic design at university. BJ worked as an animator for many years. He once suffered a crippling addiction to alcohol. So, this is the story of the rich man who actually murdered two people and got away with it. That's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know how you guys liked this. I know a lot of people asked for another um, bit life video, so please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment me video ideas down below as always. My comments were turned off on some previous videos, I'm not sure why. Um, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. I love you guys so, so much. Bye guys.